Delaware correctional officers serve almost completely outside of the public eye. Following February's deadly prison riot at Vaughan Correctional Center in Smyrna, lots of questions were asked about conditions inside Delaware's prisons. The people most familiar with the answers to those questions, correctional officers, are rarely, if ever, allowed to talk about it with the press. So to get around that, the Officers Union is working on a documentary to tell their side of the story. The job that we do is one of the most, if not the most, dangerous job. The documentary Hidden in Plain Sight is a rare look inside Delaware's prisons told by those who work there. Life became very real for us that day because all the things that we thought could never happen happened that day. That day was February 1st, when inmates took control of the C building at Vaughn Correctional, holding both guards and other inmates hostage. The siege, which resulted in the death of Correctional Officer Lieutenant Stephen Floyd, was finally resolved nearly 20 hours later. We, we knew it was coming. It was classic textbook. There were guys put in that building, free roaming with other inmates that should have never had contact with other people at all, period. In addition to shining a light on that deadly February day, union leaders hope the documentary introduces the public to correctional officers in a more personal way. We don't get the public interaction that a trooper or a nurse or a paramedic does, you know, because all of our work is done behind a fence. You know, those guys, you know, you get to interact with the public on occasion and people get a better understanding of their job. Ultimately, you know, it's our job to communicate to the public exactly what we're doing. Until you get the jails properly manned, inmates aren't going to get what they need. Officers don't have the safety and the security to provide what they need. The public doesn't know what a correction officer does. You, you guys just don't know. And, and we feel part of, uh, you know, of what we need, you know, and people say, oh, why do you need money? Why do you need this? Why do you need that? We need to show you guys what our job really is. One main need for correctional officers, better pay for such a dangerous and demanding job. Only give us $32,000 a year for this type of work is a slap in the face, is disappointing because we're dealing with criminals on every level. What I think the legislators don't know is that most people that work for the Department of Correction are teetering on the poverty line. Last week, the state announced a plan to increase that pay by 22 percent over two years, from $33,000 to $43,000 by fiscal year 2019. Union leaders called that a good first step. We can't get people to apply for the job with the salary the way it is. and. And some institutions, 60% of our daily operational needs are, are overtime. And uh, that's not going to change for a couple months, you know, as we start the process moving forward. Union leaders aren't sure when the documentary will be finished or how it will be released, but they're hoping it will be an informative and effective tool to help improve conditions behind bars. And our goal is, is to show you just how difficult our job is of managing the people that are incarcerated that nobody wants to really deal with. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be good for everybody. A preliminary report on the prison riot found a host of security and management problems led to February's deadly prison riot. Among them, poor training, a lack of communication, and inconsistent enforcement of prison rules. That created what the report called a fertile ground for chaos and violence. The family of Lieutenant Stephen Floyd, along with five other officers held hostage, have filed a federal lawsuit against former Governors Ruth Ann Minner and Jack Markell and other state officials, accusing them of poor oversight, which led to the fatal siege.